Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook, and today I'll be going over my miniature Catapult GoPro tripod. I needed to film myself working on a table, and a normal tripod just wasn't quite right for that. So I made something out of spare furring strips I had just lying around. I cut the strips roughly in half, and then also made some spacers. So yeah, what I did, I tried, decided to make a small version of a catapult tripod that I had made out of a catapult lamp. It was formerly a catapult lamp. You can find those online, they're pretty, pretty common, but they make a pretty good filming method. So yeah, here I am, I'm cutting a slot in it so I can adjust it forwards and backwards. You really, I could probably just use a hole here, but I decided to, to make it a little bit more versatile that way. And since my milling, my milling bit couldn't go all the way through, I cut the rest of it out with this box cutter and then filed it down. Could have used a router here too, but that was just more convenient in this case. I mean, I guess it was more convenient. Had to do this, but anyway, the uh, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter 20 screw went through pretty well. But there I am drilling it with a 15 30 second spit. And as I find out right here, 15 30 seconds is not actually a clearance hole for a quarter inch. That was a 17 30 seconds, which I chew right here. And after that, it, the spoiler, it works pretty well after this. There we go. Looks, uh, looks very nice. Slides in, slides back and forth in the slot. And uh, honestly, I, th I think the hole would have been fine too because I'm just gonna end up using it on the end most of the time. So I glued the two, two halves together and clamped it and let it dry for a while. Clamp, clamped up the base too. So that took a little bit more gluing. So yeah, lots, lots of glue. Um, you know, I guess I could have used a support rod through the whole thing, but that, considering glue holds very securely, I, you know, I'd just take more time. And this was kind of a quick build, kind of an afterthought when I was doing something else, another larger project, but turned out pretty well. So I did the final clamp and let it dry overnight. And then take took everything off and now it looks, actually I could probably, Probably let it let it be done here, but decided to actually finish it. So there it goes, and there there goes the quarter inch quarter inch uh, what do you call it wagon bolt? That's not right. Anyway, the quarter inch bolt thing. So there I'm tightening it down. Carriage bolt. That's what it's called. Anyway. So here I am, I'm testing it to see if it'll actually hold. I, I didn't think it would hold there because the uh, the back's just not heavy enough or have enough uh, torque, I guess. Um, but this way it held well. And as you'll see in just a second, that back made a nice base for uh, to put a weight on. So yeah, see, so it holds here pretty well, at least with my Hero Session. Oh, wait, and here I, I glued another piece on the bottom so that I'd have plenty of space for the a quick release, go for a quick release. But here I am putting uh, putting my gloves on and staining it. Now, as you'll see in a second, I probably should have sanded it before staining it, but uh, hindsight's 2020, I guess. And there I am sanding it. Wiping it off. I used some matte urethane on this so that it wouldn't reflect light. That's, that's kind of why I use the dark stain too. And there I am putting the quick release GoPro fixture on there. Screw goes in once more, or carriage bolt, as I, I should say. Probably should use a wing nut here, but I didn't have one handy, so that's what I used. And there goes my hero session. And you can see it resting on my bench. Actually, there it is at the end. That's kind of what I had it pictured for so I could butt it right up against the wall. And there I am turning it around and supporting it with a weight. And now it can, can videotape me working on a circuit board or whatever else. And here you can see a full 360 degree view of it. Actually, what it, what it sees in just a second. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or even try it yourself.